Hi everyone and welcome to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. In today's timeless pick a card reading, we're looking at no contact situations between you and your person to see if they miss you, to see if they still care, and to see if there will be communication coming from them. Whether you're in a situation of being in separation, or perhaps they're running, perhaps you're broken up, perhaps you just haven't heard from your person in a while and you don't know why. We appreciate all of you so very much for allowing us to be part of your journey. And if you're interested in looking into your personal journey, we've been doing private readings for over 30 years. And there is a link in the description below and pinned to the top comment on how to make arrangements for that. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it may resonate with you. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if you find the pile you select doesn't resonate at all with you or your situation, we do encourage you to select a different one. Also, please remember, these general readings are for entertainment purposes. For today's reading, we have three options to choose from. Pile one is the black and gold foil which is really just the Rider weight done with a different style, and that's what the art on these cards look like. So gold, black and gold foil, and that comes with this Bumblebee Jasper. For pile two, we have the Star Tarot, and if you've never seen the, the artwork on this card before, that's what the artwork for the Star Tarot looks like. And that comes with the clear quartz. And for pile three, this is the Tarot Grand Lux. This is an example of the artwork on this card. And that comes with this tiger's eye. Pause the video if you need to before making your selection. Pile one, pile two, pile three. The timestamps for each combination are below in the description and pinned to the top comment. So take a moment to relax and let's begin your journey today. I will see you in your readings. Hi pal one, welcome to your reading. You chose the black and gold foil tarot and the bumblebee jasper. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and let the rest go. And if you find that it doesn't resonate at all with you or your situation, we do encourage you to select a different pile. So first, what we're going to do is look at your person's current feelings to see if they still care and miss you across the top. And then on the bottom row, we're going to see if there is going to be communication coming for you from your person. So let's get right into this reading, pile one. Does that person miss them? Do they still care? What are their kind of feelings for pile one? Does their person miss them? Get here for pile one, person's current feelings. Do they still care? Do they miss them? We have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, so that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. If your sun, moon, or rising for you or your person is in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, this could be a place of validation for those of you who like to use astrological <clears throat> signs. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be for this to be a good pile for you. So let's see what else for pile one. The Eight of Wands. Okay, well, they may be giving us the second on, on at, the, at the top instead, but sometimes they'll do that because this is about communication and messages. So let's see what else we get for pile one. The Four of Wands. What else for pile one? Does that person miss them? Do they still care? 
What are the current feelings? We have the fool. And then on the bottom, we have the six of cups. All right, so pile one, yes, your person does miss you. Yes, they still care, okay? And this Knight of Cups is someone who perhaps is not mature in their feelings. So this could be why there's no contact. This could be why there's no communication with you. But it does look like we are going to have a change in your situation. The Fool is about a fresh start, new beginning. And see, this Fool is at the edge of the cliff trying to decide if he's going to take the leap of faith and trust the universe to catch him as the fool takes that leap of faith, okay? And this as well is the Six of Cups is about getting back together. It's about reminiscing, memories, taking trips down memory lane. So I do feel your person is really thinking about you, wondering what's going on with you, having very fond memories, very th fond thoughts of you and all the things that you did when you were together. Now, so with this fool here, this is also about a fresh start in the beginning. It's also about them reaching out and communicating very much as this eight of wands is as well. Now, this four of wands, this is really about your relationship and taking the relationship further. It's a card of celebration. See, this looks like a couple getting married underneath that canopy of flowers. Celebration, family being present, friends being present, having a wonderful time. So your person still has feelings for you and I do feel they think about your connection, your relationship, what those next steps would be, what they would look like. And if they are currently in a place of no contact with you, which is what this reading is about, obviously, this card, the Eight of Wands, does talk about communication. And the Eight of Wands is also something that's swift and sudden and out of the blue. So you may be hearing from your person very soon based on these cards being present here, okay? Now, I also do feel that your person does have deep feelings of love for you, but perhaps they haven't expressed them to you or shared them to you, and that could be why they're in this place of no contact with you. But this tells us, all of this tells us, this story tells us that your person is going to communicate they are going to express their feelings for you. They are going to create a fresh start, new beginning with you. And you guys do have a very strong probability here of coming back together and taking the relationship further, whatever that further is for you, whether it's starting to date again, going into a relationship again, talking about moving in, talking about buying a house together, engagement, whatever that is for you because everyone's in a different situation. So whatever your next steps would be in terms of a relationship with your person. Now we're going to look at, well, I said we're going to see if communication is coming for you. Communication is coming because they still have feelings and they still care and they miss you. But let's see what else we get about is communication from Kyle One's person coming because it looks like they may have flipped the universe may have flipped on me a little bit here by putting the second row at the top, but let's see. For pile one, is communication coming from pile one's person? The queen of swords, that is a lot of air energy. So Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in sun, moon, or rising, that could also be a place of validation for you, pile one, if you like to use the astrology. See what else for pile one. Whoop. See the eight, well, we'll put them in order. The three of wands, the knight of cups. Again, we have that knight of cups and the eight 
of sorts. So I feel that they have not been communicative or they're holding back because they are holding back their feelings. They're trying to figure out ways that they could perhaps express their feelings. They know that they have feelings for you, okay? But this Eight of Swords, perhaps they were heard in the past, Temperance is on the bottom, which is beautiful. The Eight of Swords is really about like things in your mind holding you back. And it's not so much the subconscious mind that comes with the Moon card. This is really more about experiences that they've been through in the past, creating this sense of perhaps fear or abandonment, so not really being expressive of themselves or of their feelings for you. But this Queen of Swords is someone who speaks their truth. Queen of Swords is very much about what you see is what you get. So I do feel that your person is going to communicate. They do still care, but with this Three of Wands here and Temperance, I do feel that this could be something that takes a little bit more time. Temperance is about, well, having to be patient, but it's also about alchemy, and it is about the alchemy that exists between you and your person. Your person probably isn't going to call it alchemy, probably call it a connection, the spark, that click. So they are aware that there is this connection, this spark, this click between the two of you. And the Three of Wands, this is about this person here standing, looking out to the sea and seeing these ships and kind of like, I always say, this is the person waiting for their ship to come in. So I do feel with the Three of Wands, it's about taking a little bit more time, okay? But I do feel that there is communication coming from your person. I do feel they miss you. I do feel that they are going to, with this Knight of Cups being here twice especially, they will present themselves to you as a romantic partner after this period of no contact. So your person could come back in a really big way. They could come back in a really big way. Pile one. I'm going to move this over to make room for some more cards here. Don't want to mess it up because I actually have it fairly neat today. But if you've watched my readings before, it probably won't be neat by the time we get to the end. Do the best I can here. All right, so let's see for pal one. What are they feeling? Do they still care? Do they miss you? I have to be careful with this deck because some of the images are not considered YouTube friendly. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So again, we are talking about memories here with this Six of Cups and with this Temperance card as well. You take your memories with you. So I do feel your person is having these trips down memory lane and I do feel that that is what's causing them to realize and recognize that they should not have let you go, that they need to be in communication and they have been, and they need to be in contact because the memories you've shared with those you love. And this tells us as well that your person loves you and that they have feelings for you and that they miss you. This is a beautiful reading pile one. It's actually fantastic. Wow. It's so, it's really wonderful. So what else for pile one? Does their person miss them? Do they still care? New life. This is very much new life. This is very much for me <clears throat> about this fresh start, new beginning that comes with this reunion between the two of you. As you reunite, it will feel like new life. It could even feel like a new relationship because your person is going to be different. They are going to be more emotionally expressive. They are going to be able to be vulnerable and let down their guard. Now, 
This Knight of Cups is not yet someone who has matured into the King of Cups. They're still a little bit emotionally immature. Not as much as the Page of Cups though, but I still feel that they're a little emotionally immature. And that is what's causing them to not have been able to express their feelings, express their emotions, and let down their guard, let you in, and be vulnerable to you. But that is changing. They are doing a lot of thinking. They're doing a lot of soul searching. A lot of soul searching here with this temperance card. And temperance as well is about healing. So if they have been hurt in the past, and I do feel your person, for most of you that are watching this today, I do feel your person has been hurt in the past, and that's caused them to be guarded with their feelings and their emotions and have abandonment fears and issues as well. And perhaps your person was abandoned, and, and they don't want that to happen again. I feel like that was really hard for them when that did happen for those who do have abandonment issues. So what else for pile one? Abundance. Abundance. And I feel that it's not just about financial abundance, but it's also about an abundance of love, an abundance of love between the two of you. What else for pile one? What are their person's feelings? Do they miss them? Do they still care? Vulnerability, naked, seen, authentic. I don't mean naked as in nude, okay? I have to say that for the YouTube censors. I do mean being able to be really open and letting down their guard and letting you see their most authentic self down into the depths of their soul. Do you feel your person, how one is going to be doing this? They're going to be vulnerable. With two double knight of cups there, this really tells us that there is the the understanding from your person that when they represent themselves to you, they will be more vulnerable. They'll be more open. They will let you see into their soul, although you probably already can, but they will assist you on that journey. Gentle, compassion, softness, and tenderness. You'll get more compassion from your person as well. I feel they'll be more compassionate with you and this will help your relationship. Feminine energy. Feminine energy. That really kind of goes with compassion though, doesn't it? They'll be more gentle. They'll be more nurturing with you. You are probably already very nurturing with them. And you have been, you were nurturing with them while the two of you were in communication and when you were in contact and perhaps when you were together for those of you that are separated or broken up. So I, I do feel that you're going to see a gentleness and a compassion from them that's very different than what you've experienced with them before. They're going to come back and as they do, you'll notice that they're renewed, they're recharged. They are a much more improved, better version of that person you fell in love with. Looking back, see, looking back, See those words there? Holding on, unfinished, what if? Very much like this kick, six of cups. Very much like this six of cups. Reminiscing, reviewing, going down memory lane, perhaps even dreaming of you and your relationship, just dreaming of you. Let's see what else we get here for pile one. And that looking back and that reminiscing, and at the bottom it says, what if, in this unfinished. They know that the story between the two of you is not finished, pal one. They know there's more to come in this story between the two of you. But it's with a new chapter, a new chapter and starting on a much more solid foundation. Slowly but surely. It's happening. It's happening. 
steady movement forward. Now remember we also said that with that three of wands down here and with this temperance card that things would have to unfold. Well, this is what's interesting, right? This is about moving things forward swiftly and quickly, but yet they're slow and steady here. But it also says slowly but surely. So perhaps for some of you, it may be a rush in, presenting themselves as a romantic partner, talking, communicating, then backing off a little bit and then rushing back in and then backing off a little bit. I'm not saying that that is absolutely what's going to happen for everyone watching today, but I do feel for some of you, it will kind of give you that feeling. And it's really important for you that if that's happening, to stay solidly grounded in your power. What else for uh, one? Because they're coming back. When they come back, they don't have the intention of, with this four of wands here, the intention is not to leave again. They just may need to take slower steps forward. Love will conquer. Love will conquer. And there's so much love here. I can't believe the Knight of Cups comes out twice. Soon, very soon, we will reunite. What else for pile one? Do they still love them? Do they still care? Nobody understands me like you. And that's very true, very true, Pile One, especially with this Queen of Swords here. You do understand them, and they know you understand them. And no one gets them quite the same way that you do, and they know this. So what else for Pile One? Huh. Nobody compares to you. Nobody compares to you. What else we have here? So they know, and perhaps they've dated someone else, perhaps they've you know, gone out with someone or just been in this place of contemplation thinking about you or comparing you to people they had in the past, but they know that there's no comparison to you. They know that you guys have a really strong connection. Remember, there's a spark, there's a click, and that's how they see it. They see that there's this click. They see that there's this spark between the two of you. What else for pile one? Please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. I'm sure you have contacted them, pile one, but I don't know if I agree with that card. I am going to leave it there because I'm doing this live and I really don't like editing. So let's, I feel that if you contact them and they don't respond to you, that may not feel good to you. That may make you feel bad. So uh, maybe you can contact them telepathically, letting them know that it's okay for you to for them to reach out to you. And do you feel with this connection here that comes with this Six of Cups, um, with this connection that comes with the Six of Cups and with Temperance, with, which does imply a very strong spiritual connection, you do have telepathy with one another. You can pick up each other's thoughts and feelings. So we also have this card. I'm tired of being away from you physically. I'm trying to process my fears so I can come back to you. Very much, we were talking about that earlier with this Eight of Swords. See, I do feel that some of these, some of these people for Pile One, I feel your person, some of them do have fears. And that's what's created this disconnect and this no contact between the two of you. And you know what? No contact sucks. It's really hard to be in a place of no contact with someone, especially when you love them, especially when you care, and especially when you know that there is this really strong connection between the two of you. But some people, they're not quite ready 
to embrace the magnitude of this connection, the magnitude of this big love. And there is that sense of so much deep love here. So what else for pile one? I am walking home to you. I'm not sure where I am on the path, but I am walking on it. The fool is on the path. He's at the beginning of his journey on his spiritual path. So your person is walking home to you, not just in terms of communication, but I do feel that they would like to see what happens with your connection and your relationship by taking it further. The next card I have is this journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lesson. Spiritual lesson. Ah, uh, I know you're all going to scream. Patience. Patience. And I know you've all probably been very patient for a very long time. And it's really hard. Lessons in patience are so hard. But also lessons of patience and unconditional love are like the final lessons that we learn as a soul as we get ready to make that final ascension process. Okay? So your person misses you, pal one. They still have very strong feelings for you. You are going to hear from them. There is going to be communication. It may take a little bit longer. And I do feel that they will present themselves as a romantic partner and want to create a fresh start, new beginning with you because they are aware that there is this connection or this spark or this click between the two of you and no one understands them the way that you do. You just get them. They've been afraid, they've had issues, and they are healing those issues. This is your reading for today, Pile One. Thanks so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the first comment. Also, we would like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in reading two. Hi, pal two, and welcome to your reading. You chose the star tarot and the clear quartz crystal. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in what does resonate and let the rest go. But if it doesn't resonate at all, we do invite you to select a different pile. So what we're going to do today is on the first row, we're going to look at your person's current feelings to see if they still care, to see if they miss you. And then on the bottom row, I'm going to use a different deck of tarot and see if communication is coming for you. And in pile one, it ended up being flipped, but sometimes the universe does that. I have no idea why, but we will get your information for you today, pile two. So let's see, what are your person's current feelings? What are person's current feelings for pile two? Do they miss them? And do they still care? Pile two. The world. Let's see what else for pile two. The Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups comes with water energy. If you like to use astrology signs to see if this is a good pile for you. So water is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If your sun, moon, or rising for you or your person is in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, that may be a place of validation for you in your pile selection. What else for pile two? What are their persons? The Ten of Pentacles. What else for Pile 2? What are their person's feelings? Do they miss them? Do they still care? 
The Queen of Wands. And then on the bottom, we have the Two of Swords. So, yes, pile two, your person misses you, and they still care. So I do feel, for some of you, there has been an ending to this relationship, to this connection between you and your person. The world is about an ending, but it's a cycle. It's always a cycle, and from endings come fresh starts and new beginnings. Your person still has feelings for you, feelings of love, feelings of passion, feelings of connection, okay? Now, the Queen of Wands is fire energy, so Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, if you or your person's sun, moon, or ascendant is in one of those signs, we have half the zodiac here, so this is a, could be a place of validation for you. But this Two of Swords, this is about someone that's trying to make a decision. They're trying to decide if they should communicate. They're trying to decide if they should reach out. Twos are, swords are about communication because they're air. Air is about thoughts, communication, ideas. So they are thinking about reaching out and they are thinking about communicating. There's so much that they miss about you, pal two. They miss how loving you are. They miss how caring you are. They miss who you are. They also miss the passion that you share with one another. And their feelings, there are still feelings of love here between you and your person. Now this Ten of Pentacles, this is really about hearth and home. And I love the Ten of Pentacles in this deck because the pentacles have little hearts in front of them. So there's ten hearts here. So do they still care? Yes. Do they miss you? Yes. Do they still have feelings for you? Absolutely. But I do feel that there has been an ending in your connection for some of you. I do feel like there's been an ending in your relationship. And I also feel that there's even this sense of sadness here because there is no communication between the two of you. There is no contact, like you're not part of each other's lives at the moment. And being in no contact with someone, especially someone that you really love or care for, is really hard, especially when there is a very strong connection. And there is a strong connection here. We've got empathy. We've got telepathy. We've got intuition between the two of you that is very strong because of this connection. Now, this Ten of Pentacles as well tells us that perhaps they have considered or perhaps you even talked about where your relationship was going. This is very much about hearth and home. This is about family. This is about having a home together, having a family together with the two of you living in the same place together. This is a very fulfilling relationship that comes with stability, safety, protection, and so much love. So perhaps you and your person did consider taking this relationship further. Perhaps they bailed when it became too real for them. This is a place of, this is a reading of no contact. So it is very much about perhaps the relationship ended, perhaps they ran away. I don't get a sense of that with what I'm seeing here. But we are going to do this second row to see if there's going to be communication coming from your person. And we'll see what we can get here. Also, you just saw this. I'm going to bring this up. All these butterflies. Your person is going through a period of transformation and change. Perhaps your person needs to change in order to really make this relationship have 
long-lasting sustainability and staying power so that it can go the distance. But right now we're seeing if there's going to be communication for pile two. Will pile two's person communicate? The communication from pile two. The Two of Cups. Wow. Remember how I said some, sometimes something has to end so it can start again? So this Two of Cups is about a union of hearts. It's about two people coming together. Let's see what else we get for Pile 2. The Seven of Cups, definitely on their mind. You are definitely on their mind. They really think about reaching out and with this Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands being here they really think about you a lot. Let's see what else for Pile 2. Well the Queen of Wands again. There's so much that they love about you Pile 2. They love your energy, they love your wisdom, they love your passion, they love how you help them with encouragement Support and they don't have that now, but that's not the only reason why they want to communicate with you. But you know, I, I don't feel like they have that in their life at the moment, and I feel that that is really part of the reason why they're missing you. The chariot, so that is can't oh, look, there's cancer energy here, but we covered that with the queen of cups, and this is Libra energy, so. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Libra. If your sun, moon, rising are in any of those signs or for your person, that may be a place of validation for you for the reading. And on the bottom, we do have the Ten of Cups, which is awesome. We also have the Tower. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one as well, only because I do feel that when they make this decision to communicate with you, because yes, I do feel they're going to communicate with you, but when they do reach out to communicate with you, you it will hit you out of left field. You will just think, well, what the heck? Where is this coming from? I feel like it's more about you being surprised, but it's also about them making this decision to do it and then like poof, just acting on it, really acting on it. And this Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is about, again, very similar to the Ten of Pentacles. It's about happiness in a relationship with the future, being able to go the distance, something that's fulfilling, harmonious, and balanced. And what else? We're going to see what else we get for you guys. Pile two, what else for pile two? Trying to not show the images on these cards. Well, I'm gonna grab the one that fell on the floor because I always will drop one on the floor. Heart light, look at that fire coming out of that heart. There's so much love, only time will tell. But this chariot as well is about movement. It's about them taking action. It's about victory. It's about success. So I do feel our question is, will they communicate with you down here? Yes, they will. And I do feel that they even dream about you at night with the Seven of Cups being here. They dream about you, they may even daydream about you. I feel like they think about picking up that phone and texting or communicating or sending a smoke signal or whatever. Many times they just haven't done it yet. So I feel that this is more so about a fresh start, new beginning between you and your person. Let's see what else we get here. Unfinished symphony. So 
this tells us that the story, the love story between you and your person, it's not finished. It's not over. It's not ended. There's more to come. There's more chapters, not just one chapter. I feel that there is a good chance here for there to be multiple chapters between you and your person. And with this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups, that's really about, well, that fairy tale, how the fairy tale ends, happily ever after. Let's see what else we get for pile two. Do they miss you? Do they still care? Let's see here, pile two. Inner knowing, inner knowing. And you know what? With this Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands being here, you do have an inner knowing, Pile 3. You know. You know if they're going to come back or not. You may not know the time or the hour or the day or the month. Only time will tell. But you know. You, you know because you have very strong intuition. You have a very strong connection to, to spirit and to the universe. And so you, you know, you have that inner knowing. And it's just, when you know in 5D, it's really hard to exist in the 3D reality of what you're going through in your daily lives. It says busy, stressed, chaotic, and rushing. So perhaps your person is busy. They've got a lot on their plate right now. Perhaps they're trying to further their career. They've got other things that are going on. External influences are creating some chaos in their lives. Let's see what else. This says contentment, happy, fulfilled, peaceful. This Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups is very much about contentment and being happy, fulfilled, peaceful, harmonious, and balanced in a long-term partnership, whatever that partnership looks like for you, whether it's moving in together, getting engaged, starting a family, getting married. Let's see what else for pile two. Friendship. See these two children on this card very much about community, support, and compassion. And it's also about being friends as well as lovers, as well as partners, deepening your bond of friendship with one another. That's a very strong foundation for a relationship. But also it could indicate that perhaps your person has been talking to some of their friends, getting support, about what they should do concerning the situation between the two of you. This card also fell magnetic, magnetic, luminous, desired, and then at the bottom it says pursued. So I do feel that, I do feel that your person is going to pursue you once they have reached this decision and put forth the effort to reach out and work through their stuff and find the courage to, to communicate with you. Perhaps they're afraid of communicating with you. Perhaps they think that you don't want to talk to them, but I don't think that that is the case with the cards that we're getting here, okay? I don't feel that that's the case with the cards we're getting. And we have feminine energy on the bottom which is nurturing, receptive, and creative. Makes sense that that would come with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands being there. Those are two energies that are very nurturing, receptive, and creative. But it's also about your person taking on some of that characteristic as well. Being more nurturing, being more compassionate, being more caring, being more expressive of their love. Let's see if you're going to hear from your person in this no contact situation. Do they still care? And do they miss you? What are their feelings? 
Help me love you better. Help me love you better. And perhaps they need to learn better relationship skills. Perhaps you have to help guide them and teach them in order to learn these relationship skills that with this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles can help the relationship go the distance. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let's see what else for pile two. My past is dark and weighs me down. Perhaps they do need to heal some things from the past. Perhaps they need to let some things from the past go. Perhaps that past is a previous relationship that was toxic or dysfunctional and they still haven't fully done healing on that yet and they don't want to take that gunk into this relationship with you and perhaps that's causing them to be busy causing them to focus on work job professional career stuff or whatever other external things they're focusing on and this says all I could do is run all I could do is run so perhaps that is why there is no, well, that's probably why there's no contact or communication between the two of you, pal, too. Your person did pull a runner and ran, and that is so hard to deal with, so difficult to deal with. We have, on our channel, put up a video on what the Twin Flame runner experiences when they run. I'll put a link for that in the description as well and pin to the top comment because it may help some of you who are in a runner situation, whether they're a twin flame or soulmate or whatever, it doesn't have to be one of those things because people run all the time from relationships, especially because we started this card with this ending. So I'll put a link for that and it might help you if you watch it. It's got some It might give you some enlightenment and understanding as what your person is going through if they are the runner. All right, so what else? Okay. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even when we aren't together, I feel our union. Okay. That's for pile two. Words have hurt me in the past. And that's why I fear talking to you. So that's what they're working through here with this Two of Swords, trying to work that through with that Two of Swords and that Seven of Cups. But I don't think that that's going to keep them from communicating with you. I'll contact you when I'm able to. Right now my life is too complicated to bring you into it. But know that I do want to talk to you. You're going to do more than talk. I feel person here that belongs to pile two. I do feel you're going to do more than talk. I feel like you're going to try to create a fresh start new beginning with the person that's getting this reading. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk. So I do feel that when they do initiate communication and start talking to you again, I do feel that it probably will be very lighthearted in the beginning. I mean, they may just say, hello, how are you? They're not going to immediately jump into the whole explanation of why they did what they did. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, this does tell us, though, that they will be truthful and honest. They will speak their truth and tell you why this happened and why they ran and what caused them to disappear and what caused them to not communicate with you. Let's see what else for Kyle. Two. We must remember that we are gods and goddesses and work to embody that energy. A lot of power in that statement, a lot of power. We are all spiritual beings and we're having this human experience, but it's for our spiritual growth. 
because that's ultimately why we're here. And we do learn life lessons and we experience tremendous spiritual growth when we are in relationships. But more so, unfortunately, when we go through the pain and turmoil and heartbreak of relationships where someone was a runner, where there's a breakup, where there's an ending, where there is no contact, no communication, especially when you're trying to communicate with them and they just ghost and ignore you. I do feel you're going to hear from your person, pal two. I do feel they're trying to decide with the seven of cups and that two of swords about reaching out, about communicating. They have been thinking a lot about you lately. You're definitely on, your, on their mind. I do feel that they have been trying to keep busy to avoid thinking about some of this, but it's not working. Okay, it's not working. And the story between the two of you is not finished. You have this unfinished symphony here. Your story, your love story is not finished. There's more to come. Remember, we got this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups here and the Two of Cups. Those are really strong cards of trying to bring something together, trying to give something another chance, trying to let something go the distance into something that is long-term and sustainable. This is your reading for today, Pile 2. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look into your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you over in reading three. Hi, pal three, and welcome to your reading. You chose the Tarot Grand Lux and the Tiger's Eye. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. And if you find that it doesn't resonate at all with you or your situation, we encourage you to select a different pile. So we're going to do the reading today this way on the top row. We're going to see what your person's current feelings are for you to see if they still care and if they miss you. And then on the bottom, we're going to see if communication is coming for you. So let's get right into this reading. Pile three, does that person miss them? Do they still care? What are their current feelings for pile three? Pile three, current feelings, do they still care? Do we have the Nine of Pentacles? Current feelings. Do they still care? Do they miss you? And the Fool. Current feelings. Do they still care? The Ace of Pentacles, well, that's actually beautiful for that to come next to the Fool like that. This really talks about a fresh start, new beginning, an opportunity from the past representing itself. The person's feelings, do they still care? Do they miss you for pile three? This is the Ten of Cups. And then on the bottom, we have the Empress. So yes, pile three, they miss you and they still care. Now, I feel that perhaps your person has been pouring themselves into their work, into their job, into their career, so that they are not thinking about you or trying not to think about you as much as they have been, but it doesn't really work. I also feel that they see you as someone who's very independent. Perhaps you're really focused on your job. You're really focused on your career right now so that you can deal yourself with this no contact situation. It's really difficult when you're at a place of no contact with someone, especially when it's someone that you truly love 
and care about, it's really hard to be ghosted. It's really hard when they run. It's really hard when they don't respond to you. But this fool is very much about something from the past representing itself. And I feel as well, this can also be for some of you, perhaps all of you, that your person feels like a fool for letting you go, and for letting this period of no contact last as long as it has. But this fool is very much about someone who is taking a leap of faith. They're at a crossroads. They're trying to make a decision about which way they're going to go. Are they going to go left and continue down this path of ridiculousness and no communication, no contact? Or are they going to choose the other path and reach out, communicate, and give the two of you this opportunity to create a fresh start, new beginning? That's very much about what this Ace of Pentacles is about. It's also about having a relationship that's built on a much more solid foundation. Now this Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups is about balance, harmony, fulfillment, security, safety, stability, hearth and home, being very happy in a relationship that can go the distance. So perhaps your person's really been thinking about what it would be like to have this relationship with you, to be able to be in a long-term relationship with you. And this Empress card as well, that really continues much of that same story. The Empress is very nurturing, very grounded, very caring, very giving, very loyal. Also, it can be someone who is very much in control and in charge of their profession, their career. They're a leader when it comes to their work. So perhaps they're thinking about you and your work and your job and how you are dedicated to that work job situation as well. Pile three. But it's also about how they view you. They do miss having you around. They miss your guidance. They miss your support. They miss your love. They miss your compassion and your caring. So do they miss you? Yes. Do they still have feelings for you? Absolutely. Do they still care? Yes, they do. So now I'm going to take a different deck of cards for pile three. If there's going to be contact from your person for pile three, will there be contact from your person? I already feel there will be contact from your person. Okay, pile three. It looks like there's communication coming to me. The hangman, that's being able to see things from a different perspective. It's also being stuck. Again, very much having to make a choice and decide what they're going to do. This is also Pisces energy. So if your sun, moon, or rising for you or your person is in Pisces, this may be a place of validation for you. Pile three, let's see what else we get for pile three. The four of pentacles. Now, I always call this the Ebenezer Scrooge card because it's about someone that's really holding on to their money. But in a relationship reading, when we're asking about someone's feelings and if they're going to communicate, in regard to their feelings, it's very much holding you close to their heart. It's like they want to hold on to you. They don't really want to let you go. And perhaps they do feel very foolish for letting you go. But again, this can be someone who is very focused on their work, job, money situation. Take it whichever way resonates with you. See what else we get for you, part three. There'll be communication. The Queen of Swords. So this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So again, sun, moon, rising in Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, that for you or your person, that can be a place of validation for you. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone who speaks their truth. It's also someone who is very much about what you see is what you get. So I do feel that you will get communication 
from your person. Pile three. But this could also tell us those that that communication is coming in Aquarius time or Libra time, Gemini time. So let's see what else for pile three. Will there be communication? Is communication coming from pile three's person? Temperance. And then on the bottom, we have the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so that's someone who is taking action, taking action rather swiftly. So I do feel you will be getting communication from your person. Pile three. Now this Knight of Wands is fire energy. So that is Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So again, Sun, Moon, Rising for you or your person in Leo, Sag, or Aries. That is another place of reference for you. And this is Sagittarius as well. But this Ace of Swords, this is it. This is the card. Are they going to communicate? Will there be communication? Will there be contact? The Ace of Swords is about the initiation of communication. So I do feel that there is a really good chance for you to hear from this person. But it's also about them getting some mental clarity and a better understanding of themselves, of your situation, of your connection, and of your relationship, which they can get from this hangman, because this hangman is about someone who is able to see things from a different perspective. It's also about someone who is surrendering, surrendering to the process, surrendering to the connection, surrendering to the love that's really here that comes with that Ten of Cups. Now, temperance is about alchemy. It's about the blending of your souls, the blending of your essences, the nature of who you are, the nature of who you each are. So there's a very strong connection here between you and your person. They may call it something else, and that's fine, but there is a strong connection. But it's also about, temperance is also about patience, because tempered steel, how they make a sword that's tempered steel, they heat it up, pound it out, and cool it off 500 times before that piece of metal becomes a sword. Okay, so that takes a little bit of time. So I do feel that there is going to be communication from your person. I do feel they're going to have mental clarity after they're able to see things from a different perspective. They don't want to let you go. They want to hold on to you. And once they actually make that decision, they will act on it, reach out, because they still have these feelings here, these deep feelings of love that comes with this Ten of Cups and this Empress, Empress card. And I also feel they want to create this fresh start new beginning with you that comes with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I dropped all of these and we'll take this one. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. A new adventure awaits. A new adventure the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, a new adventure. The Knight of Wands as well is someone who very much likes adventures, taking trips, going places together. The Fool, he's at the beginning of his journey. That's what this card means in the Major Arcana. So this again is very much about an adventure, going on a journey. So a new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning awaits. There is an opportunity for this connection to come together between the two of you, again, pile three, because if there's no contact, it's obvious that you're apart. Maybe they're running, maybe they ran, maybe they had fears. Some of this will come out as we kind of go through with the rest of the reading here. Fork in the road. See, that's about them having to make a decision. Very much like this fool. It's exactly the same thing as the fool card. Are they going left? Are they going right? Which way are they going to go? But then this also tells us that they have to then be responsible for 
the decision they make. They have to be responsible for the actions they take. So they're really trying to weigh things in the balance. They're really trying to figure out what their best course of action is. Perhaps if it's been a long time that you have not heard from them or if there's been no communication between the two of you for some time, and I know that for some of you, you probably haven't heard from your person in years, but the connection is still there. They're just not honoring that connection. Connection's still there. They still feel it. You still feel it. It's just they're not doing anything about it. And sometimes that is so hard to deal with, right? It's really difficult. So let's see what else for pile three. Do they still care? Do they miss you? What are their feelings? Are they communicating? Let's see what else for pile three. Busy, stressed, chaotic, rushing. This makes a lot of sense with this Four of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles card. Perhaps they are focused on work. Perhaps you're focused on work as well. Perhaps they're focusing on work or trying to focus on work to take their mind off the fact that I, they, they miss you. Self-love, know your magnificence. Nurture your inner child. And that is a message for you, pile three, but also a message for your person. They need to love themselves more because through loving ourselves, we can love others. As RuPaul always says, if you can't love, if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love someone else? Inner knowing. Trust that still, small voice and your intuition. The Empress and the Queen of Swords and the Temperance card. Very much about inner knowing. Very much about your intuition. Very much about you having this inner knowing of what's happening between you and your person. Even if there has been no communication, no contact. Perhaps you're dreaming of them. Perhaps you are getting intuitions about them or telepathy or empathy from them as well. Strategy, methodical, thinker, and practical. So your person may be planning some sort of strategy about how they're going to get this back together with the two of you, how and when they're going to communicate, trying to figure out if you're even willing to hear from them. And you may not be. You may not want to hear from them. But I don't feel you'd be watching this reading if you didn't, right? So what else for pile three? Cautious, they're being cautious. Yes, we know this, but they still are going to make a decision. What else for pile three? Do they love them? Do they still care? Will they reach out? Grounded, that's very much about that nine of wands, that nine of pentacles, excuse me, that nine of pentacles as well. Someone who is very grounded. You're very grounding to them. I feel, especially with that Empress card as well, you help them feel grounded, okay? You help them feel grounded. Now this next card, I have to be careful. Even though it's a stone statue and it just shows someone's back, it just the rules are somewhat silly when it's art. Okay. Not quite. One more. This is a statue of stone. It says masculine energy, structure, and this is why it's important, focus and action. Very much like that Knight of Wands, your person is going to take action. They will see things from a different perspective. They will make a decision. They will then take action to reach out and communicate. It still may take some time though. It still may take them a little bit of time. Perhaps they have to grow. Perhaps they have to go through some change and transformation themselves. So let's see what else we get for you. Pile three. What else for pile three? 
communication from that person? Will there be contact? What are their current feelings? I have so much to say. Well, huh, okay, why aren't you saying it? Why aren't you saying it? Just say it. Say it. Communicate. Reach out. I miss your tender lips. Okay. Well, see what else here for pile three. I can't face you. Perhaps your person is having to really kind of dig deep here and look at themselves and look at their life and figure some things out about themselves before they can be fully ready. But once they figure it out, boom, we've got this Knight of Wands here. Once they figure it out, I feel that they will be putting forth a lot of energy and coming out of nowhere, whoosh, to communicate and create this opportunity for this fresh start, new beginning. I'm waiting for the right time. Well, you know, perhaps also this is having to fall within the guidelines of divine timing because there is a strong spiritual connection here between the two of you. And with divine timing, sometimes things can feel like they take forever because our timeline is never the same timeline as the universe timeline, right? We want things now. We want things to happen now. We are ready to get moving and grooving. But the people upstairs, well, they seem to have other ideas. Yes, I've been through this myself as well, waiting for the universe to move something along for me. Not a relationship, but something else. But let's see, for pile three. This says, please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. Now, I don't feel that contacting them outright in 3D is necessarily the right thing to do because you probably have already. And if they haven't responded to you and they don't respond to you if you reach out to them again, that can really make you feel crappy. That can make you feel bad, right? I mean, it's not nice, that feeling of reaching out to someone and them just ignoring you, ghosting you, not saying anything. Um, I feel like that is a really difficult place to be in. So perhaps if you do are thinking about communicating, try to communicate in 5D or try to send them a message of love. Just send them love from saying it out loud, I send you love. Say their name, I send you love. And that's intuitive and that's telepathic. And because there is this connection between the two of you, they will pick it up. It may not be right away, but they will pick it up. This card came out as well. It amazes me when we say the same thing at the same time or finish, finish each other's sentences. So that comes back to this connection as well about the telepathy that exists here and your intuition with one another. I'm awakening. I know more than I'm letting on. So I do feel with this hangman and with this temperance card, your person is going through some sort of awakening. Again, with that fool at the beginning of their journey. It is a spiritual journey. That fool card is very much about a spiritual journey. So your person, if they're waking up, they're awakening, they are going to be able to see the forest for the trees and be in a much stronger place than they were with you before. So let's see what else for pile three. I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. Well, that should light a fire here. That should light a fire. You need to get a move on. Pile three's person. You need to get a move on and communicate. And for some of you, perhaps you are ready to move on. Perhaps you're tired of waiting for this person. Perhaps you're making the decision of taking the energy of the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles to be independent, to just sort of like go and do your, your thing without them or with someone else. 
doesn't mean they're not going to try to come back. It's just that you're stepping away from it and surrendering to the process of the universe. I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to our connection. So I do feel that your person has feelings for you. Pile three, I do feel they miss you. I do feel they think about you. I feel that they still care. It shows us here with this Empress and the Ten of Cups and the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles tell us that there's this opportunity for a fresh start, new beginning between the two of you. They need to make a decision, as we could see by that Fool and this Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is about a decision, but it's also about the initiation of communication. Them having clarity after looking at things from different perspectives and then reaching out to you to communicate because even though they try to make their lives very busy and kind of like doing all this stuff to keep thoughts of you away, they can't because they still keep coming back into their heads. Why? Because there's a strong connection between the two of you. But when they do make this decision, they're going to come on like gangbusters, okay? This is your reading for today, Pal3. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the first comment. Also, we would like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so, so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.